I got this model of a hopper that I need to modify. This could have come from a supplier or a client. Maybe I wasn't the original designer, or it might have come from an entirely different CAD system. Either way, the techniques we're going to use in synchronous technology would be the same. So let's say that for this particular model, I need to move this vertical pipe away from the edge of the hopper, about 200 millimeters. And to do that, I'm just going to extend this piece here. But at the same time, let's say that I've also got to move this flange down such that it's in line with this beam. That's actually going to involve uh, lengthening one pipe and shortening the other. So let's go up here to Faces Priority. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow me to draw a box and it will pick up on any feature regardless of what part it belongs to. And you see that right in the context of the assembly, I can use these arrows and just make that movement. I'm actually changing two parts here. And I can even pick up on a key point on this adjacent beam to snap it to. So we've edited those two parts at once. Now let's look at how we're going to move that out 200 millimeters. I'm going to click here and modify this. And I'm going to use kind of the same technique. I'm just going to put a box around this area. And that's going to allow me to drag that out. I can key in 200 millimeters to be precise. And when I go back into the assembly, you see that it's dragged the rest of the pipe out there. But notice what's happened over here. Uh, I had a U-bolt in here that is no longer lined up in the correct orientation. Right now it's, it's sitting offline because this bracket is actually too short. So using that same technique, let's put a box around this and that's going to grab that entire area and any faces that need to be modified. I'm going to move the steering wheel to the center of the U-bolt. You see I can snap it in 3D space. And I'm going to use that same arrow and just drag it over. Now again, I can key in uh, a precision distance, uh, but what I'm going to do this time is I'm just going to go up here and just snap to this center point. So that's gone and moved the U-bolt. It's now in the right place because we've picked up on key points. We've modified about three parts uh, in two different ways using only three operations.